right. Well, I would just want to start, Jeremy, by thanking you for taking the time to chat with us here at the Christian Beat about your uh, new project, Deeper Waters. Yeah, this is, I'm so excited. I'm so ready. Three more days. <laughs> <laughs> I know, so close. Um, yeah. So do you want to start a little bit by just sharing um, kind of what your overall theme is for this project and kind of I'm curious if it, it if it evolved like as you were creating or if it was one of those types of projects where like you knew up front this is what I want to be doing for this one. I didn't necessarily know up front, but once I knew what it was, it was very soon. It was it was almost like I got in there and I didn't even I was like, "Lord, I want to make sure that I have something of depth to offer. I don't want to just write songs." Mm -hmm. And the first part of the album was rough. I remember like getting in, I was writing with a friend and I'm like on the couch crying going, I have nothing to give. I have just, you know, I've had some health stuff going on. You know, I had a, a, a close relationship, you know, me and my wife, that we love these people so much. And it was like some of our closest people in our life went through addiction and then they went through, you know, because of that, there's estrangement and manipulation to deceit. And we have, we haven't seen them. It's just hard relational thing. So I just kind of was just kind of broken and didn't know what to, to do. And then it came to the point where as I'm writing this song, it's called Closer to You. It was like, all of a sudden I realized that this is a song about surrender. This is an album about surrender. I knew it, like the whole album is about surrender. And Deeper Waters came the next song after that. And I was like, that's what I want. Because when you surrender completely, you will go deeper with Jesus. And I think that um, that was what started, you know, the first part of the record. Getting in that is what made me go, I know what this is about, about complete surrender and going deeper with Jesus. So That's awesome. And I also do want to ask about the cover art, because I think it's really stunning to look at. So I just wanted to know, you know, a little bit about how that was uh, put together and how you feel that that contributes to the music. Yeah, I think it's it's a symbol of sometimes we, you know, we're we're carrying this weight where sometimes like a parachute is supposed to be a symbol of like, you know, a, a, a kind of almost a saving freedom where you're in the air and you're floating and it's like ah oh. but then sometimes you can take those things if you don't completely surrender everything that could be in a burden and so i remember the whole symbol was like you kind of walk in in the chaos and all the crazy stuff and just not realizing like what's going on and there's a video called the the song called these days when the video actually at one point just take it off and it releases and flies back. Like, it's like complete freedom and surrender. And uh, I think really it's the symbol of like, hey, if you wanna go deeper, don't be dragging this weight. You know what I mean? I, I love the mm -hmm. idea of the parachute because there's the, if you really use it properly, then there's freedom in it. So. Yeah, no, absolutely. And you, I know you have pre-released the title track as well as these days that you just mentioned. Um, Curious kind of what some of the reactions and stories have been like that you've probably already heard back and if there's been anything unexpected in, in some of the connection that's been happening with the music. Um, I think a lot of what I'm hearing, because I've been putting clips out on my social media well, as well as like mm -hmm. little clips of my songs. And mm -hmm. a few things I'm hearing that was kind of been shocking that I've not really ever heard is, oh my goodness, I think this is, your best record you've ever put out you know what i mean and i think that was encouraging but that's just more on the practical side but then uh -huh. on the depth right i think that i'm hearing a lot of i can really hear that you worked through a lot you know in this record and that you really like there was a depth in this record that god did something that you worked through and you presented it you know and, and laid it out and i think that for me i wouldn't say it was surprising but i think that that's been an overarching theme. People's going, I can hear in these songs, the depth, like, you know what I mean? In every song. Mm -hmm. and that, I think sometimes you hear like, oh, I love this song or I love this song or this song meant a lot to me, but I'm hearing like every song people are going, oh, I, I hear it in every one of these songs. So that's, that's special. So would you think, would you say that that's kind of one of those things that like makes this project stand out for you from the other, from all of your other work that you've done? Is that depth? 
Yeah, I think I've always written from a depth. I mean, if you've followed my career or if people have followed my career, they kind of know that that's I've always done that. But I think okay. that, I mean, the title's called Deeper Waters. I think that, you know, I really, I, it's almost like I took a step deeper because, you know, you should anyway as you get older. But I think it's like, you know, sometimes I'm trying to figure out if I can explain this in a way. It's like, you know, you may take a, a step forward and you should every year you grow you take a step forward i feel like this was a leap does that make sense so instead of just taking a step forward i took a leap forward and i think it had to do with health things that you know i was saying i was going through and relational things i think that it just made me get to the place where i'm like literally feel like i was on the ground just laid out going all right god here you are here i am like give you everything and i think that's what you know, took the leap forward and just, it's, it's going through hard situations is what really does bring a depth, you know? And so, um, yeah, I think that's why. Absolutely. And I'm curious if there's any of the tracks right now that you would say kind of most sums up like where your heart is right now in this current season. That's it. I like that. Um, Man, this is, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting saying this, but well, no, I think this song called Closer to You, I was talking about, because the, the chorus says, so I can stand in the rain and just let it pour, because I know that you're standing with me in the storm. I can handle this life breaking my heart in two, if it means I'm closer to you. And I think that that culminates like, so I can go through these trials, I can go through all this stuff, I can, you know, because I know that you're standing with me in the storm, I can handle this life even breaking my heart into if it means I'm closer to you. If it means it got, gets me to a place where I'm on my knees before Jesus, then that's what I want. And so even though I don't like saying bring it on the hardships, I don't necessarily love that. I mean, I'm not, I'm a human. I'm not like, yeah, it's great. But I think in a sense, it's kind of saying like, okay, bring it on. I think that sums up the record of just going, whatever it takes to bring me closer to Jesus, that's what I want. Absolutely. And you've, you've already mentioned a few things that you've dealt with earlier this year. I know you were also on tour that had to be changed up a little bit. So you just want to talk about kind of how all of that uh, was working together as you were preparing for this music to come out as well. Yeah. I mean, goodness gracious. Yeah. That was a interesting, you know, my heart, my heart stuff was just, it happened like three years ago where something started happening where my heart was doing these fast rhythms where i'm like couldn't function well and it was just it was weird and scary so i had a surgery last year not a lot of people know about that but i had a surgery last year where I took care of a thing called atrial flutter and um while i was in surgery they were like hey your heart went into afib afib is a different type of heart arrhythmia that's more dangerous it could cause strokes and different things and so um but they were like we don't know for sure so let's just watch it well ended up as the year went on i started having these afib things and um they were like we have to fix this you know and so basically i was getting ready to go on tour and i had to go for this surgery and honestly the surgery didn't it, you know I'm, I'm, i haven't done like an update i want to kind of update people a little bit on what kind of happened but the surgery didn't go super well in a sense where I'm, what i mean by that is i had this irritation on my heart because of the surgery and my heart was doing even worse arrhythmia after surgery so i was like on tour this is going on and I, i'm to be honest like there's a point where you're going jesus i need your help because i don't know what's going to happen you know and uh so got through the tour but every night i was like desperately crying out to jesus and every night god would show up and give me strength and he would show up and he would move in a sweet way and I think that it just really showed me that like my life's in his hands, that he's in control and that he was leading me and guiding me. And that I really, when you realize like, oh yeah, it's had nothing to do with me because I had nothing to offer. It was all Jesus. <laughs> and I want that. I want that to be what it should always be. But sometimes you're like, like, I got this. I've, you know, I got strength and I can do this. And I think that seeing God move in, in such deep, special ways, um, I think it made it, uh, so much more sweet, even though it was the hardest tour I've ever done in my career, it was the sweetest tour. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because I saw God and move in beautiful ways. 
Absolutely, absolutely. Glad that you were able to to do that and be able to see that as well. So it's always, yeah, thanks. Good. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I do want to close, um, getting close to time, but I did want to let you have the opportunity just to share um, what's on your heart, your prayer for those that are going to come in contact with deeper waters and, and what you want um, that project specifically to, to open up people's hearts. Yeah, I think that, I think that, you know, you find so much freedom in surrender. And I just, my heart's desire is that people will be just honest with where they're at in their life. Um, honest with what things are holding them back. Honest with, you know, are they making these progressions forward to go deeper? Or are they just kind of remaining stagnant and remaining still? And people will be encouraged that, man, there's freedom and surrender. Now, there's not like this thing where it's an oppressive thing where it's like, I got to surrender everything. It's like, when you surrender everything, there's a freedom that happens and takes place. And uh, so I think my desire is that people would truly find true freedom. And that only comes through that surrender. And that surrender allows you to go deep, Jesus. Absolutely. Well, I just want to thank you again, Jeremy, for taking the time to chat with us. I'm excited uh, to see the uh, project out in a couple of days. And it'll be uh, exciting for you guys, I'm sure, as well. So, so ready. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs>